That clicking sound is the sound of obituaries being pinned on a utility pole in my hometown. We probably do this mostly in Greece, since in most countries these just go in the paper. I like to wake up early in the morning, around the same time these are pinned, and I can often hear that sound in my bed a few minutes before I get up. It always reminds me of the scarcity of time, that we only get a limited amount of it, and why we have to be very smart on how we use it. So if time is so valuable, why spend it on exercise, one could ask. There are some habits that expand our time, and some that make it contract. Working out not only expands your life in a quantitative way, as in the years that you live, but also in a qualitative way. For starters, exercise improves your energy levels. Give it a try after a long day at the office, work or studying, whatever it is that you do all day, even if you feel tired and even if you feel that working out right now is something counterintuitive, that it will exhaust you more, uh, you notice that if you train after that, you feel better, you feel more energized, you feel uh, more relaxed at the same time. You can also sleep better after that, you can rest better. Studies show that people who work out have deeper and uh, better quality sleeping cycles. Exercise also makes you more productive, it makes you more creative, it improves your mood. A lot of research proving how exercise uh, helps fight depression and it even improves the little things in life. I mean, think about that cold glass of water after a workout, how much better does it taste? Think about that nice warm meal after a workout. Again, how much better does that taste? Think about that shower after training, how much more enjoyable it is. So all these little things and a lot more that you probably don't even notice improve with working out. Now, the question is how do you work out when you don't have any time or at least when you think you don't have any time? The reason I love bodyweight exercise workouts is because you can do them anywhere and anytime. You don't need any special equipment and you can get a pretty badass workout in less than 40 minutes. For those of you new to my channel, I'll link some of those workouts in the comment section below. A big part of setting the right priorities in life is about learning to say no. No to people and no to personal impulses that lead to wasting time and negative habits that make your life contract. There are a lot of articles and even books on the art of saying no, and I'll link some of my favorite ones in the top comment below. But if you focus on two simple basic things, you can get pretty good at it. Tip number one is say it with a smile. I don't mean a fake, arrogant smile, but rather a more positive energy that comes from a place of self-compassion. You have to realize that in life, in order to be helpful to other people, you first of all have to learn to care for yourself. Once you can do that, once you can be healthy physically and mentally in the long run, then you can be in a better place from where you can help more people, you can decide which are the right people to say yes to, and you can have more time to spend time with these people. Tip number two is progressive overload. This is a principle I like to apply everywhere in life from uh, training to building habits. And if in the past you were a big people pleaser, a big yes-sayer, as I used to be, 
then you know you cannot start saying no from one day to the other you want to start small you want to get the ball rolling so find one little thing that won't make you super uncomfortable really awkward once you start with that little thing slowly you'll see that saying bigger and bigger no's becomes more easy so remember that it's something that you want to start doing slowly it's like exercise you cannot start by doing 50 push-ups from your first training day or you cannot do 35 dips on the rings from day one but if you focus on consistency, if you focus on starting small and gradually building it up, it becomes easier. Uh, since I also mentioned the rings back there, today is my second week on my goal to 35 ring dips for my 35th birthday. If you don't know what that is about, watch my previous vlog. But in summary, I've set a goal for doing 35 ring dips for my 35th birthday that is in uh, 12 weeks from now so let's see where i'm at today last time i did 26 and a half reps Ooh. not bad 29 reps that's already two reps up since my last vlog or maybe even three uh, let's see what happens in the following weeks here's the thing most of us think we don't have free time to train in the morning when we just have to say no to that extra hour of netflix late at night and get up an hour earlier most of us think we don't have free time for ourselves when in reality we just have to learn to say no to people we don't need in our lives most of us think we don't have free time, when in reality, we waste a ton of it on things that are meaningless. Things such as social media, making pointless small talk, and all kinds of things that seem little and innocent, but in reality make a big part of our day when we sum them up. Once you decide to chip off those pointless pieces of time that go wasted every day, time can open up for important things. Things that make you healthier and happier in the long run. You can work out, you can learn to play an instrument, you can spend more time with loved ones, you can read more books, or you can even write your own book. Everyone's day has the same 24 hours, and each day that passes are 24 hours you're never getting back. As a favorite quote of mine from Star Wars says, your focus determines your reality. Life is short and time management is a skill you have to practice every day. I personally consider it an art form. As you get good at it, you become happier, you become more free. Eventually all those little things you've invested your time in wisely begin to pay back and that's when life begins to improve exponentially. And exercise? Exercise is just a catalyst that simply makes everything a little better. Till next time, keep on training.